All right, gonna do a, another uh, quick video. This is again on the Tram D201 and D2101As with the circuit board. Um, what I got the camera pointed at is the underside of the receive circuit board, um, the A board, where the um, plug-in circuit board, the double A board, plugs into. Um, what I got the camera pointed at is the pins that go up to the um, double A board that they plug into. And if you see the um, two pins there on the right, the um, solder connection is broken. It's broken off. And I got my hand on the other side and I'm wiggling the pins. And you can see the pins moving around a little bit, a um, little bit of wiggle room. So they're not getting a good connection. The solder joint, instead of being solid and getting a good connection, um, is broken off. And this tram had a, quite a few of those pins on this circuit board that are like that. Um, obviously, you can see them two moving. Um, I'm going to wiggle the other two next to it, and you don't see any movement at all. And back to these two. Well, the last one, I got my finger on it, and you can see it moving around there. Um, if it looks like that, with that little circular or little break in the joint, um, it needs to be re-soldered. And I don't know if you could see it good, but there are a couple more on this side too. And we're going to flip the, uh, well not flip it, we're going to turn it. Got this little turntable, pretty neat, eh? Um, and what I was wiggling was those pins there. And that's what this uh, circuit board here plugs into. See if we can do it. And I think the reason those are broken so badly is there's supposed to be a little clip right here. And the clip is broken. So the clip isn't holding the uh, board in place like it should. So this board's been flopping around. Um, and with heat and movement and all that, it broke a lot of the pins on it. So we're going to re-solder it. And that's uh, another common problem for the uh, circuit board trams is the plug-in boards and there's another one up here the board is out um, this one the pins aren't broken but that's the uh, on the audio B board is a little plug-in board the BA board and we're going to turn it back around and that's the pins for the uh, BA board there um, one more thing that I kind of missed in that video I just did on the Tram D201As or 1s and A's with the circuit board about modifying them for audio or not really modifying but the differences in the audio. If you want to um, bypass the mod limiter and the mod limiter is just like in a transistor radio the, you know the thing you used to clip or you turn up if you want more mod. Some people, you know, uh, want to keep theirs at 100%. I don't, but anyway. If you want more mod for the radio to be at a, a, a swing to its full capabilities, um, there's a little small one UF capacitor that goes right here. You can see the positive, which actually goes to ground because it's negative um, bias coming in to um, um, shut down or limit the modulation and it would normally go right there and what I used to do in the old days was just take a um, solder or maybe get a little tiny piece of wire and solder it across um, those two holes there to ground it out and that way it disables the uh, mod limiter on the trams however um, what I do now is I get a piece of wire I unsolder the um, cap get a piece of wire and stick it through the uh, unsoldered holes and put a little light on the subject can't get my camera in there let's see if we can zoom in hey look at me and you see that little um, wire jumper in between the two resistors there um, that's that wire that I use or jumper to replace the 1UF cap that normally goes there. 
That one UF cap also goes bad if you um, gonna leave it in the circuit. You want to keep the mod limiter in there. So either replace it, or what I do is jumper it. And I think it's kind of neat that just put a um, piece of wire or a lead off one of your uh, components. Just you know, cut off a lead on a component that you know a uh, ten cent component and and. Uh, put it across like I did that you there and solder in the other side and jump it across going the wrong way with the camera so I think that's all I wanted to do today um, is to check them solder joints especially the ones that the boards plug into and if you want to uh, disable which I think is a good idea the uh, mod limiter Again, that's the other side of it. Uh, there's normally a 1UF cap that goes in that spot right there on the um, almost the bottom right. Well, it's upside down, so I guess it'd be the left. But um, of the B audio board. Okay, that's it for this one. Next time. Bye.